Hello again, folks. I'm Johnny McCobb, your friendly neighborhood psychopath, the creep of class, here with another episode of Outlast 2. This will be my first morning recording. Uh, usually when I do these recordings, I have just come home from a 10-hour shift at work, and I am exhausted. Uh, that's why you see a lot of yawning in my videos. This is do it done in the morning when I have espresso, so I'm a lot less tired and a little bit more hyper. So let's play Outlast. It's Jamie's again! That's another prop that they use that's the same exact one every time he shows up. They resize it a few times, but it's the same exact one every time. So it's Jesus, the radio, uh, the pitchfork, and the flashlight. Same prop used multiple times. Don't you not respond on me. Okay, there we go. Espresso, 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 espresso. Okay. So, yeah, I just made it up that elevator. Yep. Oh, what am I recording? What am I looking at? What does it want me to look at? What do you want? What do you want me to look at? Oh. Oh, I see. Sullivan Knopf. The modern Ezekiel. If he does say so himself. Temple Gate. Founded by Sullivan Knopf. The modern Ezekiel. Her knives sharp for the enemy. Yay! I wonder if this game is going to get like the little prequel DLC like the first one did. I hear creepy singing. Ooh, nice shoe. Can I take a shoe? Another dead person. Oh, uh, that's a uh, affirmative. I need to take stock of my inventory. Uh, let's see what we got here. Four batteries, two bandages. That's right, I had to use one of them when I ran to that elevator. So I just kind of, you know, just sprinted through the masses of people. But did you die? Oh, the doors are locked. Jammed. Okay, that one didn't say locked. That one said jammed. I don't know what the, does that make any difference as far as my story goes? Am I going to be able to unjam that one? Locked. See, same flashlight. Oh! 
That's not normal! What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to check your uh, get your water looked at there. You see that? Seem to have a uh... hello. Uh oh. Jessica and this damn school I have to do with what is going on with me right now. Face. Eat my skull. It's going great. That was. That was totally worth it. Battery. Thank you for the battery. <laughs> <laughs> Hee 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 hee. Ho 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 ho. You know, speaking of schools and horror games, it's supposed to be uh, coming out with a uh, remake, a remake uh, localization of. Um, this game, White Day, a Labyrinth Cult School. I'm really looking forward to it. I've played a fan translation of the uh, of the original one. I'm really looking forward to like an original, uh, uh, official port. Basically, White Day um, in Japan. See, uh, Valentine's Day in Japan is when girls give stuff to guys. They have a holiday called White Day when guys give stuff to girls. So, like, here it's White Day, you break into the high school at night to leave some present in your crushes. Jessica. Oh, that door wasn't open. And your crush's desk. Well, when you get locked in the school and chased around by the homicidal janitor, that's kind of my point here. All right, I'll get to you in a second. I see this door is open here. I bet there's a battery. That's more important than you being. Murdered horribly. That right? What was the point of this room being open? That found this time. Okay, well, I guess I'll. I guess I'll come check out your murder. Uh oh. Oh, good. Uh oh. How the fuck do I get out of here? Really? Okay, that was insightful. Hey, um. 
How's it going? You know, he needs to stop wandering around like these psycho delusions. Whoa to the bloody city! Let's run away. Ah. Yeah, let's get you locked in. Uh, buy me a couple servants. Oh, feck. Okay, here we go. We're good. Oh, yeah. I'm not here. No, I'm not. You're under the floor. Running, 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 running. You can't catch me, I'm on coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. No, there's no outsider. Flesh doesn't taste good. Okay. You don't want my food. Okay. There are so many dead people. Oh, hey there, buddy. Get under the bed! Why won't you get under the bed? Oh, fuck. No, you don't. Please have a lock? Yes. Excelsior! Is that, uh, what's her face? Honey? I guess this is where the magic happens. Chairs for an audience to watch. I only saw her afterwards. I, I couldn't have... Happy honeymoon. Jesus Christ. She's still alive.
fuck is this? That's a good question. <clears throat> ah, shit. It would appear to be a body pit. I just want to know what the hell is up with the freaking tentacles. Because that's odd. place. <clears throat> remember, folks, always remember to uh, spay and neuter your religious whack job inbred hillbillies. No, I'm not! Make me eat a machete. It's not very neighborly. Okay. No, I'm not. I don't like this. No. No, I'm not upstairs. Someone's a tattletale. Now you. Crawl faster! Crawl faster! Whoa! Hi! That's not good. Get down there. I am down to one bandage. Second. Is it safe? <laughs> I guess. Bunch of assholes. 
All right, inventory. The chapel's got to be close. Three batteries, one bandage. What a lovely room of death. Don't be afraid. You're going to heaven. Jesus. What the fuck? That's odd. Am I losing? <laughs> Going to heaven. God, before they killed the children, you should have loved me. It... What am I doing? So you. So how this all ties together. <clears throat> oh jeez. The children should not fear their duty, but celebrate it as a guaranteed entrance to heaven. Remember, there is no pain in heaven. Papa gave you life, so your life is his. God gave you life, so your life is his. You may not know that you are yourself the enemy. Your fear is a tool of the enemy. God knows best. Engage, study the whale, save Jonah from drowning. Jesus in the desert with Satan. Abraham killed Isaac in his heart. Draw angels. Who could be the enemy? Jeez. This is a messed up case. Ow! Oh, my leg! Really? Waste of freaking bandage. I get over there. Fence. Like that. Just need something to stand on. I got you. Ooh. Yep, that would do it. Let's read this first. Let's 
say if they're not right, so please do not let them kill me. Fuck you, daddy. Dude. Reload. And uh oh. Do I really want to go over the fence? Is that really where I want to go? That seems like a bad idea. Oh man. I better plan up action before I even jump. Because as soon as I hit the ground, I'm gonna need a fucking run. I'm gonna try going that way. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, good. Another bandage. Wonder where Monster Lady is. I don't like knowing she's out here without knowing where. and cherish thy punishment and invite more until the occasion and able by your grace and the grace of the prophet off to sin no more. Oh. The. Well. People who come up with this shit. Genius. They truly created some fucked up people. There's that same radio. No oh, battery. Thank you. Oh, here we go. that sound. It doesn't sound like happy sounds. It's just the screams of the damned. Yeah. The children of the night. What music they make. Ooh. You're not going to attack me if I just come over here and grab this uh, bandage, are you? Yeah, you are. You just keep on keeping on. Right. Okay, bye. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is the other side of that bridge. Isn't it? I see. So quickly. You know, I've yet to see what this guy actually looks like. I bet he's like 500 pounds. Eats Twinkies as a, as a diet. That's why he can only run, you know, five feet before getting out of breath.
What's this way? Okay. So that's that. Let's go back through here. Wait a second. Oh. Ah! That's not good! Oh hell. Okay. So, let me wait for her to go the fuck away. Is she gone? Where is she? I don't know where she is. Come on, go, 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 Oh, run, 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 You're not nice. You're not a nice person. Okay, let's try this again. Do you want him? Where's that fucking hole? Okay. So we're just gonna hang out in here for a second. Okay, get back over there. Yep, okay, we're good. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Don't know where she is. I don't like that. Yep, she is right behind me. You are made of bitch. The strange sheep must be corrected. Oh. oh yay. Please don't correct me. I do not need correcting. I'm gonna hide in here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I can figure a way to get over the fence. Yep. Mm -hmm. The trick is to do it without dying horribly. Last bandage. Thank you. 
Get in there, get in there, get in there! Oh, hi! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> you go away! I don't like you! I don't like you very much! Okay, so she's over there. Yes! Oh no! That's not good! No! <laughs> Okay. Oh, hi. Okay. And I think that's a good place to leave off for the day. Um, I forgot to pick out a indie film for a shout out today. So, wow, ah, here we go. The Barn. This is a great one. If you like, um, if you like retro films, this is a perfect one. Uh, it, the whole point of this film is to be, like, just a perfect representation of, like, 80s horror films. And it really pulls it off. I mean, they go so far as to, like, have the, um, have the DVD case look like it's got, like, old rental, uh, rental store stickers on it. They came out with a VHS version. It's really cool. Uh, it's a two-disc set. It actually comes with a uh, with a little retro video game. It's got um, Ari Lehman, who was uh, the first Jason Voorhees. He was uh, the kid Jason in the first Friday the 13th. It's like got Linnea Quigley, like one of the biggest screen queens from the 80s in it. Um, and it's really just like a a, um, a, a new Halloween tradition. Uh, the story is it's Halloween 1989, and best friends Sam and Josh are trying to enjoy their last Devil's Night before graduating high school. Trouble soon arises when the two pals and a group of friends uh, take a detour on their way to a rock concert, finding an old abandoned barn and awakening the evil inside, the Boogeyman, Hollow Jack, and Candy Corn Scarecrow. Now it's up to Sam and Josh to find a way to protect their friends and defeat the creatures that lurk within the barn. Featuring appearances by Screen Queen Linnea Quigley and Ari Lehman. It's a fantastic film. It really captures the time period so perfectly. The 80s were such a great decade for horror. It's uh, and I mean this is really, really just a great film for people who miss that that period. I won tons of awards. It's just a fantastic film. If you're just so sick and tired of all the crap that's being put out by Hollywood these days and you just really miss, like, the golden age of horror, check this film out. You will not regret it. You're going to have nostalgia for the whole run of the movie. Um, definitely check it out. Like I said, if you're feeling really nostalgic, they even have a VHS version. Dust off the old uh, VCR. You know, pop that baby in. Grab some popcorn. Enjoy yourself. Uh, definitely check it out, you know. It's gems like this. Retro is something that's really uh, become a, very popular in the indie scene uh, lately. And it's uh, there's some really good gems out there. I mean, there's this one. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Bastard. That was another good one. Um, that one was more less 80s, uh, more 70s. Kind of like along the same period as like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, really pulled it off really well. Definitely check that one out, too, when you get the chance. Um, anyway, I'm Johnny McCobb, your friendly neighborhood psychopath, the creep of the class. I'll see you next time.